Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, if you see up here, I've got the dried, stuck the tape to it, um, got it into position. So what I did to find the right position for it is I had on my phone, got it lined up roughly how I wanted it so I could see the whole thing. The field of view on these things is pretty garbage. I'm quite embarrassed with how bad the field of view is, but you know, anyway. Um, so once you've got that in place, you take the, the adhesive off, stick it in place, get the, the unit, put it into the bit of plastic that it attaches to it and lock it down. Um, and then you want to go and get this cable. So this cable right here, um, it's the right angled one. You then want to plug it into the side. From there, you're going to run it up into this, this bit of the roof. I don't know if you can see in here. Um, or oh, in this case, I went that way. Um, but all I, all you do is you push it, start pushing it in there, you get your little black, um, what's it called, the, the trim tool, and you just sort of feed it in. So I fed it, oh, whoops, I don't know what it's doing. Um, feed it under there, and I fed it all through here, into this bit. Uh, when you get to this bit, um, just make sure you don't have SRS airbags, uh, or curtain airbags, I think they are. Um, but then the curtain... If you don't have curtain airbags, you can just come straight across here. So I pulled this bit forward, got the cable, shoved it behind here, went down here. Now with these door seals, you can just pull them off like that. And I think you can see, I don't know if you can, I can shove the camera in there, I can't. But you can see in there, there's the, the cables in there. So then you want to run it all the way down. Just push this back into place, make sure you get your door seals nice and good. So I've decided that I'm going to actually put it on the other side um, and run the cable down the left-hand side of the car because uh, in Australia we're all right-hand drive. We're not backwards like those Americans. Anyway, so you get your cable, get it into here, just sort of get it behind the trim. Use your trim tool and just... It's very hard to do one-handed. Easiest way initially, get it, hook it in behind this panel here, pull that down, you get your cable, you can just push it in, into there, just make sure again you don't have SRS airbags or curtain airbags, you're going to fucking smash yourself in the face with a cable, I don't know how that works, I think it just tears the cable out, probably won't work very well as an airbag. through, feed it across into, into there, and you wanna, oh yeah, so you can push up cable into the roof so that it's nice and not visible, lovely, and then you come across here, apologies for my heavy breathing, it's, it's a bit of manpower to get it in, sort of weasel your, your cable into there then you're going to want to get this seal and this seal I can't remember how it works exactly but I should yeah there you go so you get your fingers underneath it you can pop the seals off this is where it gets easy because you're just going to go on the inside of the seal under the, the windows and we do it with the seal oh, that perfect all right okay. then what you're going to do is take all the door open much so you can't really see this but Now the other thing you can do, once you get down to about here in most cars, you should be able to, if you can see in there, there's a gap. 
goes in behind the dash. work for me but you can also in here just feed it under the trim because I've actually taken the glove box out on this side uh, I've changed the sides I'm going to install it on so what you're going to do then I've just run from the battery I've got a red and a black the red has a fuse on it on the battery's end um, and then I've just I don't know if you can see it under there comes down through the firewall um, punched a hole in the firewall just to get two wires through um, and then these will attach to the red and the black on the dried um, USB loom so, so I've attached those wires to the the um, USB bit so that's ready I just need to figure out where to get a um, ignition wire from I'll figure that out after but yeah so anyway, back to you once you've got it, just whack your seals back in, and then you should have a cable that comes out under, under here. Just one thing I've discovered, these little fuses, um, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, it won't focus. Um, they're little 5 amps, they're the ones that come attached to the this thing. So the two fuses, these things, um, are little 5 amps. So you want to, if you're going to take them off, you're going to want to replace them with a little 5 amp fuse just in the line. Alright, so I've got it all, all wired through under there. See, it's not, not in the way of any steering columns or anything. Um, the seals have all been whacked back on. You've got a nice clean trim all the way to the, the dried. So now what you want to do, is you can take this. It's very hard to do, sorry about this. Yeah, you can see whoop, there. Plug it in. Like that. Lovely. Light your dash cam should come on. Which means you've got permanent power to your dash cam. Okay, here you go. So it's in live mode. And if I go out, it should. <laughs> 